uh, this afternoon. Maximizing profit through social intelligence, what neuroscience tells us. Neuroscience. I had to actually spend some time with Shrini just, just to find out what does neuroscience mean. <laughs> Neuroscience is just a tool, and a very useful tool for us to look a little bit closer and understand a little bit more instead of just saying, oh, it's nice to do, let's do it, or we should do it, or shouldn't do it. If you can look at the science of it, you can see what's happening in the brain. Emotions, instincts, basic drives, motivation, mood, pleasure, pain, smell, memory. You notice the big word here, motivation. I'm talking about big parts of the brain for leadership now. In leadership, we always talk about motivation, getting people involved, getting people committed. That's done here. If you're leading people, you're leading people's brains. If you get tie people into your brain, if the brain ties in, if the brain fires up, then people are involved. People are involved in communication, people are involved in the targets, people are involved where you're going. <laughs> Why do we think we can make more money if we understand how other people are thinking and feeling? Before we sell goods, we need to sell the psychology of ownership. And that's, a, that's exactly what social intelligence is about. It's recognizing that value as it's created is a representation. And what you can do in the context of social intelligence is add value to enhance ownership, to stimulate the reward center and make the person feel anxious if they have to give it up. Part of what neuroscience is teaching us, and, and actually in some ways forcing us to do, is to start to think vividly and think in images if we want to think efficiently. I know you want to hear that you shouldn't practice, but I don't know what to tell you you're going to have to practice.